I don't know what's happening here. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Devil Savior Giant Axe. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we have Giant Axe in both of his modes. Up top, Giant Axe on the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On this side, we have Giant Axe. On the other side, Giant Axe. On the back of the box, we have our obligatory product shots, all three of his modes. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Giant Axe, and this is the next component of Devil Savior's Troublemaker. They're not Revenge of the Fallen Devastator, and this is their take on Scavenger. And yes, we're here <sighs> again with these guys, the Devil Savior boys. Whoop de doo! <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Take a wild guess how I feel about this. Take a wild guess. This is the one time I'll allow spoilers, but anyway. But um, here he is in his alt mode, a big old thing that does big old things. Uh, I don't care. But let's get it close here so we can take a look at the details. You got the big old bucket right up front. You do have some nice details here in the arm section. Some nice silvers. And you can see... That nice dingy, dirty look they like to add to the figures, which makes it look really nice, very appropriate for the types of uh, vehicles that they turn into. And let's see the section here. You got the transparent windows, windshields going on there, little lights up top. Looks quite nice. Got a little staircase going on there, white stripes. Again, a little dinginess, a little dirtiness. The big old treads, again, looking nice and dingy and dirty. Looks quite good. And there's the back. You can see a little, you know, <laughs> little faux parts going on there. Oh no, looks really good. And as usual, that's the one compliment I can give these figures. They look great. And there's the top, and there is the bottom. You do kind of have visible hair. She draw. It's right there. You can pretty much just bring his head up and just have him, you know, just hanging out there. Hi, how you doing? How's everybody feeling? All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, you know, so I, you know, thing you can do. He does have the little rolling wheels, so he can roll as giants rolling, killing, digging things can do. Hooray for giant rolling, killing, digging things. And for comparison, here he is with the original Revenge of the Fallen figure. With the studio series, Scavenger. With MPM Bumblebee. With MPM Prime. And last but not least, with his buddies, Mixmaster and Long Haul. So we can see how the team is shaping up so far. So there you go. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, the bucket here can move up and down, although this joint is very tight, but you can move that up and down. This has multiple joints, but that's more for robot mode because this ends up being his hands. But you know, you can move that around if you want to, but you really want to keep it more in that bucket shape. Um, you have nice ratcheted joint right there that can move up and down. And this whole section at the base can also move that. This is as far up as it goes, but you can bring it down like two good clicks. And you do have these little, uh, these little rocket launchers here, which can pivot up and down and get them rotating. They just peg in there, but yeah, very tight ratchet also. Yeah, 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 there we go. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much everything that moves there. Now, one thing to note is there are a bunch of clips that keep, uh, that keep this section together and they do give you 
uh, spare clips. They give you four spare clips. And if you notice, I'm only holding three because I already had to use one of them <laughs> because uh, this clip right here broke during the JTI. If you watch that, you'll, you'll see this break. So I already broke a clip and had to replace it. And I feel like this was their way of saying, you know what? We're not too good at this engineering thing, so we're gonna give you extra clips because we know they're gonna break. I feel like that's what they were saying here. I just, if you break more than three, you're out of luck. But you know, well, if you break more than four, rather, you're, you're out of luck. But you know, I already broke one, so <laughs> three to go. But anyway, yeah, you get some spare clips there. But um, yeah, that is uh, basically it for the alt mode. I mean, it looks quite good. And again, that's pretty much the only compliment I can give it. It's a, it looks great. Looks really good. Looks really nice. I believe this figure is based on the uh, the Legends Scavenger. I think that's the figure they used as their uh, as their base for this one. And <laughs> they used the Legends figure as their base, and they still couldn't get the engineering to work right. It makes no sense. But anyway, <laughs> that's basically it for the alt mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> you can get a good spin out of them, though. Hey, that's another compliment I'll give it. Get a good spin out of them. Good spin. Good spinage going on there. But uh, as usual, first we'll go into combined mode and then we will go into robot mode. And there's also a couple little uh, couple little modifications I had to make to make this work a little bit easier. And I'll, I'll explain those as I get to those points. So um, first thing we need to do is we need to come down here and we need to undo these tab sections here, which are pretty tight. And if they're too tight to get out, what I found is the easiest way to do it is just, you have to untab these treads anyway. So if you just pull that on the tread, it'll pop those out for you. That's the easy way to do it. So undo those. And then you want to just untab the treads, just bring them down, untab them. This is one thing I had to modify because um, this tab going back in, I cannot get this to tab back in after I untabbed it. Um, so what I ended up doing was, I don't know if you can see it, but I basically just, I just shaved down like the inside edge of this tab and now it pops in really easily now. It was just, yeah, a little modification I had to do there to make that work better was to shave in the inside of that tab. Just the inside edge of it. But uh, once you get that done, you want to then come back here to the booty section and you want to just unclip these bits here. There are tabs that go into the sides of these sections here. So just pop those out as well. These little rail pieces, these are packed separately and these will probably pop off on you while you're transforming it. They just peg in. So do be careful with those. I, I honestly would not recommend gluing these in. I thought about it, but then I was like, eh, no, because it's better they pop off than just breaking entirely. So yeah, just, just be mindful of them. So undo all that. And now, actually what we need to do is we need to bring this down a click. Yeah, so we can remove these missile launchers. So just unpeg them, put them off to the side. And now basically we have to split all of this all the way down here and this is not easy to do so i bring in my uh these are my sticker applying tweezers i just use the other end of it to gotta get in there and just kind of pop all this apart there we go and just split all this down the middle there we go and once you do that i'll use the uh, treads here as a as a kickstand there we go and then you just want to split all of this open like so, we got all this going on in here. So just gotta bring these out, get them out of the way. And you can see these little hoses in here. These hoses are packed separately and they give you screws to attach them in place. It's just a screw, just goes right in there and they just, uh, they just peg right up in here. And this is the orientation you want them in when you are getting this guy into his alt mode. Once that is done, what are we doing? I don't know. Because this thing just, it just, it just, anyway, bring this out. And for now, you want to straighten this bit out, which this is on a pretty tight 
Yeah, that's it. Right there. Yeesh. So what's all we doing now? So we're going to just bring these arms out like so. And what are we doing here? Yeah. We're going to bring his head around. I just tabs up in there, just rotate it so it's facing back like that. That's where we want it for now. Just bring these treads forward for now, get them out of the way. Actually, we need his arms, uh, we need his arms down. We need his arms down for now. So we need to come to this side, and we got some work back here to do. You got these little slots right here that we need to bring up so they will go into place and bring this all the way in. And this is another little modification that I did. And oops, one of the, <laughs> the rails popped off. Uh, <laughs> this is another little modification that I did, and you can pretty much see what I'm doing here. Um, I, I uh, shaved off the top edge of that tab because once you slide these things on, they are a pain in the butt to get back off. So just shaving off that upper edge just helps this slide down a lot easier. It gives you a slope for it to come down as opposed to a hard edge that it has to get over. It gives a nice slope. So yeah, I did it on both sides. Just shave down that top edge. Makes life a lot, well not a lot easier, a little bit easier. A little bit easier. There we go. So get those in place and those are now locked in where they need to be. So now that we have done that, we can proceed to do other things. Such as what? I don't know. Uh, actually, I do know. I do know. Just more pain, more suffering. That's that's what that's what's next. But <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is we're going to <clears throat> I'm gonna lose my voice, excuse me. You want to unpick these and just kind of swing these out like so. Unpick this. Swing that out. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to take this section here and we're going to rotate it around like that. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get the best angle I can here, but this guy is uh, not the most cooperative. But once you do that, you wanna take this section here and bring this, you get out of the way. You're blocking the view. There we go. So you wanna bring these sections forward like that. And we'll just do this on the other side right now. So just swing all of this around like so. <laughs> the rail popped off. <laughs> Told you. Anyway, and just bring that forward. This one is very tight. There we go. Bring that forward like that. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna take this bit here, just rotate it up. You know, bring this whole panel up, you want to just kind of angle it so you have clearance to rotate this all the way around, like so. And this little panel here just unfolds, just kind of angles in, it's just a piece that just dangles there. It's in, this thing is literally in the way in both, in the other two modes, but that's the only purpose to serve in combined mode, just to sit there and just dangle there because reasons. I'm assuming it's accurate, but hey, it's kind of annoying. But then you take this hose and it will plug in right in there, like so. So now we're going to come here. This will fold in. You want to fold all this in at this hinge. So fold all this in and then fold that in. That will sit there like that. And we'll bring in the rails. We'll just stab these back in. There we go. And there, you basically have a side. All done, second boss. Unfortunately, it's just like the fast. Just swing this up, just angle that, rotate that around like so. Get this stupid piece dangling down. Bring this around. Plug the hose in on this side. Then fold that in, bend that in, bend that in. And put the uh, rails back on. You stay. You stay because it's normal. There we go. We're getting somewhere. We are getting 
somewhere. All right, so what are we gonna do now? I don't know. Okay, I do know, I do know. So now what we're gonna do here is we are going to take the arm, fold it in at this hinge here. It will clip in, bring this up, and it will clip in right there. That's the clip that broke. Hopefully that one will stay intact. Then we take where are his hands, rotate that in, and just bring that back. And then you have this bit right here, which will come up, and there's a little post in here that will just thoop right in there. Thoop, thoops into place. There you go. At this point now, we can just bring this back up. Oh, actually, before we do that, we need to uh, open up this panel and bring down the combiner peg. Close that back up and then soup that back into place. There we go. So now we got that all done. Now, second vest, just like the vest. So just fold that in. That will clip into place there. Bring that up. That will clip into place. Rotate. Bring that back. Open this up. Bring down peg. Close it back up and just swing that around. Soup it into place. There we go. Just rotate it up. Yeah, rotate it up, and there we go. We're almost there. We're almost there. So now, let's work on this stuff back here. So the wheels have these bits here that we're going to just unfold. And come over, unfold, come over, unfold. And come over. Maybe to the other side here. Just make sure things line up. Unfold. Come over. Unfold. <laughs> come over. And unfold. And unfold. And come over. And then these will just tab in like so. And like so. And like. So, oops, as I bumped the camera. And like so, there we go. We got all that clipped in. So now comes what is definitely the hardest part of this transformation is this whole armature here is on a slider as you can see and you have to move this into a specific position for each mode. So right now, you can see, I don't know if you can see the letters in here. They actually have letters molded on here. There's V, there's C, and there's H. So V is for the vehicle mode, C is for combined mode, H is for, I don't know why it's an H, I guess maybe humanoid mode or something, I don't know. <laughs> but for the H is for the robot mode. So for combined mode, obviously you want to slide it to the C, to the C position, so basically the central position. And doing this is not easy. This thing is really, really stiff and really, really hard to move. And I can get it to, to go. It's just, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Ugh. You basically kind of have to move one side before you move the other. And I think I'm actually damaging it by doing that. Because I think there's a little split happening there. But it's the only way I can get it to move is by pretty much dang near breaking it. But there you go. It's in the C position. And once you do that, these tabs will line up and plug into either side and that will lock into place. And once you do that, you take this, you collapse it, you rotate it, and then that will just come up and sit right back here like so. This little bit right here, you just bring up like that. And there's this little clip here you bring down and that's for one uh, point of connection for Mixmaster. So we're pretty much at the home stretch here. And this is gonna be one of them long videos, I already know. But uh, <laughs> we need to work on the treads. So there's a section of the tread you want to just bring out so you can then untab this section here. You have to kind of bring it to the side and pop it up like that. And then you just wanna bring this around like so. And this little red piece you flip out like that. And you just do the same thing on the other side and just 
kind of open this up. And that will give you the clearance to pop this out of its tub, like so. So bring that up, and just swing this in, bring this over, and there we go. Make sure those treads are all the way forward. And last thing we do is we bring in the launchers and they will just fall out of my hands. No, they're just going to plug in right here and right here, like so. And there you go, there you have Giant Axe, aka Scavenger, in his combined mode. And yeah, this is basically just the uh, the upper body here of Devastator. You got these panels here, you can kind of angle those how you want, do what you want with these little weird pieces. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the combined mode. Doesn't look like much of anything, but that's the combined mode. There you go. There you go. Give me the 360. There you go. And, and yeah, that's a thing. That sure is a thing. And for a quick comparison, uh, here it is with the uh, Studio Series version. And it's combined mode. So you can see how that works out, so. There you go. So now, let's get down to transformation again, shall we? <laughs> uh, that's pretty much how I feel right now, honestly. But, let's go. Let's remove these. Put these off to the side. And, let's begin. So, we just need to do a little bit of work here with the treads. Just flip these back in, flip these back in. And we can pretty much leave those there for now, right? Yeah, yeah, we can leave those there for now. Take this, bring this back, rotate it, bring it back out. And we need to undo all of this. Just undo that, just unclip these. Unclip, and unclip, unclip that. And just fold all of this back in this little bit. This bit doesn't really like to stay up anyway, but you will slide that back in. Put that in. Put that in. Flip all this back in. Just fold it all back in there all nice and neat like. Like that. And like that. There you go. We'll leave that alone for now. Come back here. Use these as a kickstand. So we can get everything situated up here. So, what we're doing here is we're just opening this back up, open, undo this. You just bring that back down. And basically just kind of put all this back the way it was. So just fold this up, rotate this back around, swing this back over. Like so, and this is basically just going to peg right back in where it was for the yoke mode. I'll just close that up. And this section here, we'll just tab in. This, you want to make sure this is kind of out of the way, off to the side like that, and you just bring this in. You want to fold it in at this hinge here. So fold it in, there's a tab, that will just sit right there. And there you go, you got that side all done. Second verse is unfortunately just like the first. <laughs> Open it up, just undo this, swing this down, swing all this back around. That's how it's, that side likes to fight me. Come on, man, just, 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 just go back to your home. Just go back to your home. Thank you. Thank you. Please, just work with me just a little bit. Just a, just a smidge. Just a smidge. Lord knows I don't ask for much. And uh, just bring that around again. Again, just take this. Plug it back in where it was. And just kind of bring that back out of the way. Fold this in. It will tab up in here. Is this it? Oh, this isn't. Make sure this panel again is tabbed back where it's supposed to be. Bring that in and tab that in. There you go. 
This connector right here, just rotate it around so it's facing back, like so. And we are getting somewhere. Where, I don't know, but we are getting somewhere. So now we'll work on the arms and we'll hope and pray that we don't break another clip. I only got three left. All right, so. I like that you can use these as kickstands though. <laughs> it's it's kind of helpful, kind of helpful. So just undo this so you can open up this panel. There's a little notch in here that you can get your fingernail in. Actually was a little bit of thought put into this. Just kind of open his hands back up and hopefully this clip won't break. Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Please, please, please. This is so tight too. Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay, clip is still intact. Clip is still intact for now anyway. So I'll undo that. Swing this back around. That will clip back into place. Right there. Okay. We'll just we'll, we'll leave that alone for now because we got a bit of repositioning we have to do with that once we get everything else settled. But okay, open that back up. Do that. Air pen. Air pen. Air pen. Thank you. Close up. Boom. Undo this. Uh, my clip's not as tight, but still tight. Undo that, swing this back around, and clip that back into place. There we go. And let's bring that back down. Again, we have to reposition all that anyway, so just kind of leave them out of the way. All right, so we got things going. Yeesh. All right, so, boom. What are we doing here? Okay, I have to come back here now. We need to undo these tabs. Let's get in there, pull them out. So now we have to slide this over to the, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, we have to slide this to the H position. So back here is where this needs to go now. So again, to do that, you pretty much have to dang near break it because you gotta like flex it to really get it to move. So just, just try to, there we go. Pop that into place. There we go. And I do have a crack there. The plastic's cracking like right there. I can see it from me doing that, but there's no other way to do it. It's literally the easiest way to do this really hard thing. It's the, it's the easy, hard way to do a very hard thing. So hopefully the plastic will hold up and it won't snap on me. I mean, there's a lot going on here, so I think it'll hold together, but it's just, there's a crack there now. They got this from the Legends toy, by the way. The Legends toy. They still can't make it work, but anyway. Legends Engineering that they still somehow managed to screw up, but any... You want to... <laughs> um, well, what am I doing here? Oh, okay. So all we have to do now is... <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. You want to split the wheels here, just unpeg them. Like so, so one goes up, one goes down, and then you want to slide these to the central position here. Now how you want this armature set up is pretty much the way I have it here. So you don't want it, you don't want this straight out. You basically want this one, one click up. So it sits like that at a bit of an angle. And then just bring this up. You wanna get these clips out of the way these uh, tabs, get these out of the way. And what's gonna happen here is, you wanna bring the treads up, and make sure you, the hoses are out of your way. So you wanna bring these all the way up, and you see there's these little, little hooks here. They're gonna go over these sections here. And this part can also be a bit of a pain in the bootox. Because even when you have everything right, it still somehow doesn't wanna go in sometimes. But just line that up as best you can, and I should clip in right there. I'm sorry if things are in the way, but now it's the best I can do here. Bring this around, and we'll do the same thing. Pop that in, there we go. It's actually the easiest time I had doing that. Thank you for cooperating with me that one time. Appreciate you, appreciate you so much. All right, so once we've done that, just collapse that wheel down. And now we can pretty much get him uh, standing, so to speak. 
but we need to just bring these little bits down like so and then we can turn his head around like that and now we can basically just kind of reposition his arms and then we can bring out his hands here and you can just open these up and he has little fingers so you can pretty much do what you want with the arms this is just kind of the easiest way i've found just to get him to stand in some way shape or form you can just split that and there we go i don't think i have things perfectly right here but we'll try there we go just get him supporting himself I think that's the best I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to fight with it just to get it to stand. Hey, you just take the uh, little rocket launchers here and they just pick into his shoulders. And there you go. Why am I, why am I, I'm off kilter a little bit. No, that's, that's off kilter. That's off, oops. And then the wheel collapses. You stay, you stay. Okay, he's a little off kilter, but that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> there he is. There is Giant X, aka Scavenger, finally, thank God, in his robot mode. And again, it looks really good, and again, that's the only compliment I can really give it. It's the only compliment I can really give it, but, you know, hey, it looks, it looks nice. It looks real nice. Looks real, real nice. But let's get it closer so we can take a look at... That head of his, there you go, that beautiful head of his. So you got some nice yellow there for the eyes. Again, nicely detailed, nicely painted. The paintwork on these figures is wonderful. So hey, I'll give credit where it's due. Credit where it's due. And you can say, I mean, it's just the weird scavenger body here. <laughs> but it does look good. Um, the wheels, you know, I agree with people who say the wheels are are uh, a bit too small, but all in all though, I think it works out pretty well. It doesn't work pretty well, but it works out pretty well as far as the look goes, <laughs> but all in all, hey, I can work with it. I can work with it as much as I don't want to. I can work with it. So as articulation wise, you can look up, you can look down if you just kind of move that down. Head can rotate, you can do a full 360, you can totally look up, like squirrel, you can, you can totally do a lot of squirrel, like you can look behind them to look for squirrels. Arms, as you saw, can move up and down at that hinge right there. I'm not going to move it any more than that because I don't want to. Arms can rotate right there. Got elbow right there, you have the wrist, hands can move up and down, you have that, he has fingies, all that good stuff. The wheels, you can kind of reposition, you can get him standing taller than this, I'm just not fighting with him to get him to stand up because I really just, I really just don't want to. I really don't want to mess with this any more than I have to. But, there, there you go. So there you have that, and now for comparison, there he is with the original Revenge of the Fallen figure. Oh, it looks like a little baby. Where's Papa? Thank you, son. Here he is with the uh, Studio Series. You would! You would! Oh, you start with me. Don't you even. Don't you even. Haven't you done enough? Haven't you done enough to torture me? Seriously? Seriously. Come on now. Come on. Really. Cooperate. Please. Thank you. Okay. Let's continue! Here he is with NPM Bumblebee. With NPM Prime. My knockoff version anyway, but still the same figure. With MPM Megatron, again my uh, my knockoff version, but the same figure. With the Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. With the TF Dream Factory Revenge of the Fallen Megs. 
and we'll uh, bring in his troublemaking buddies. Not realizing how appropriate the name is. We'll bring in Mixmaster and Long Haul. We can see how the team is shaping up. So there you go. So there you have Giant Axe, and he is a giant pain in my axe, if you axe me. <laughs> there are more bad jokes coming, I promise. But um, yeah, I've seen other reviews of this figure, and you know, they say, oh yeah, he's the better figure from this set. And saying this is the better figure of the set is like saying it's better to get kicked in the head than kicked in the crotch. While that may be true, it still sucks. I mean, it's just, it's not it's not necessarily better, you know. It's probably a horrible analogy, but you get my point. I mean, it's yes, he's not as frustrating as the other two, but he's still frustrating. So better is not really better. It's yeah, just slightly less frustrating. It's you know. I've said as much as I can say about these figures um, already, you know, I wish they just worked better, more smoothly. I mean, you know, again, the one compliment I can always give these figures is they look fantastic. The detail, the paintwork, those aspects of these figures are spectacular. They're going to make great display pieces, you know, and that's really what these are. Ultimately, they're going to be display pieces. I mean, when I finished Devastator... It's gonna look amazing on the shelf and I will never take it apart again. I will promise you that. I will never take this Devastator apart again when it's finished. And you know, that's pretty much what I'm buying these for is just as a display piece. As things to actually mess with, they suck horrendously, um, but they look great. And you know, I'm thinking big picture here, which is Devastator. And I know that will look amazing. So that's why I'm still spending my money on these things because the Devastator is just gonna look awesome. But yeah, all in all though, you know, Looks good, but again, just functionality-wise, it, it, it still sucks, but it is what it is. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Show Z Store. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Troublemaker playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Devil Savior Giant Axe. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Home in your face! Ah, scavenger, it's about time you got here, you freak! Hey, I'm not a freak! I'm just a regular bot, just like you! Well, maybe not just like you, I am, uh, I'm a bit more skilled. Yeah, yeah, a bit more skilled. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. At least I have a stomach. Hey, I have a stomach! I don't know where it is, but it's, it's somewhere, it's there. <laughs>